hey guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video i'll be showing you this beautiful airbnb that we stayed in in osaka as with all japanese homes or apartments the first thing that you see when you enter is the genkan where you have to take off your outdoor shoe and change into your indoor shoe and this one had some capsule toys for some reason i'm not sure why maybe guests are interested in those things there were two entrances to the apartment and both of them led to the kitchen and this kitchen was so beautiful and it was stacked with things of course like any other apartment because airbnbs are technically apartments or homes because it was my first time but i expected that but there were also like ramen and stuff that you could use he also left some water in the fridge for us which was really nice so the room right beside the kitchen was the living room and i thought it was like really homey really cozy and as the day went by i just liked it even more the more i turned the lights on the more i liked it so right beside the living room there was a face basin and the only thing I didn't really like about this apartment was that this was the only mirror. I still love the apartment. I really love it. Right outside the bathroom, there was this little wash area with laundry detergent and things for doing laundry just in case you wanted to do it. The stairs were steep. I was so nervous going up there the first time. Like they were so steep. You have to be careful um, on these stairs. Oh, so this is the bedroom as you might have guessed um there are beds so bedroom <laughs> there were three queen size beds there were three of us so three beds this apartment is actually advertised um as being able to hold up to six or seven people and it in reality it could in even my opinion it could hold up to eight um it would be a little packed but it can't hold up to eight because there were three queen size beds upstairs and the sofa downstairs doubled as a pull out bed so you could pull it out and someone can sleep on that so i think eight people could hold in here the only problem would be sharing bathroom with eight people So this apartment still had a lot of the things that are typical of an old Japanese apartment. The slide doors was one example and I just kept playing with them. <laughs> These were some glass ones. The ones leading to the living room were not glass. There were, there were many around the apartment and I just kept playing with them. <laughs>
there were a lot of things I liked about this apartment. Many things. Um, the free Wi-Fi. And what made me love it even more? There was Netflix and they were all logged in so we could just use them. Netflix was there. Amazon Prime was there. Um, that we could watch a YouTube premium. Not just a regular old YouTube. We didn't have to deal with ads. So that was that was lovely. And um, I, if I go back to Osaka, I would definitely stay at this place again. It was clean. It was homey. And I don't think the video is doing it just. It was just so beautiful. And the host was quick to respond to questions. I found this on Airbnb and sent it to my friend and she booked it. And he responded like, very quickly to all the questions and we didn't even have to meet him we didn't we didn't meet him um the keys were left and we were given instructions on how to get in the apartment thanks again for watching please share your airbnb experience down in the comments below and if you've never stayed at an airbnb please let me know what you think about them and if you'd stay at one i'll see you in the next video bye